Welcome to Beat Source Tech. My name is Mojax, and today I am very, very happy. But they, or someone else, I'm talking to maybe Reloop, I don't know who I'm talking to here. Someone needs to make an audio interface for Serato DJ Pro. I'm not taking credit for the existence of this product. I may have played a part with that video back in 2022, but the real reason this happened was actually the fact that over 60,000 of you watched it and almost a thousand of you took the time to comment. That is powerful real world feedback from DJs and I know that helped inspire Reloop to create the flux. I'm not going to relitigate all the reasons why I think a separate audio interface for Serato is so important here. You can watch the original video if you didn't already. But getting the flux into my hands and exploring the possibilities it offers absolutely confirms my thinking. Using a fancy analog rotary mixer at home and want to use Serato DJ Pro DVS, the Flux has you covered. And the same goes for those classic battle mixers that you might have sat on the shelf. And of course, the Flux will come in clutch for those gigs where the in-house mixer doesn't support Serato DJ Pro and it's not practical to swap it out for one with a built-in interface. The thing is with the Flux though is that Reloop didn't just throw together a simple two stereo channel interface and call it a day. No, they decided to go much, much further. So let's break this thing down. Firstly, the price. It's $449 in the US. My first reaction was that this seemed quite high, but then I looked back at the pricing for the Rain SL3 back in the day, $700. The original SL1 was $500. So yeah, when you consider inflation too, that makes the Flux seem like an absolute bargain to me. It's worth noting that it does unlock the full Serato DJ Pro and the DVS expansion. So if you're new to that software, you can get up and running with the Flux immediately. Of course, the price is meaningless if the quality isn't there, but the Flux is built like an absolute tank. All metal construction, solid connectors everywhere, and those are nicely recessed into the body to ensure it can survive a life on the road with ease. Plus, there are numerous LEDs displaying signal and power status on the top panel, which I really appreciate. In terms of size, it's a fair bit bigger than the two-channel Denon DS1 and actually a little smaller than the SL3 despite having the same number of channels and more USB stuff going on. But of course that's all fairly academic as the Denon is no longer available and the Rain is neither available or supported by Serato. The Flux is the only game in town at this point. The only small quibble I have with the build on the Flux is the small ground terminal for your turntables. Firstly, there is only the one, but also it's just a little small and fiddly to use, but that is no big deal in the scheme of things. Let's talk sound next, as that's equally as important as the build. The Flux supports 24-bit audio with a sampling rate of up to 96 kHz. When you use it with Serato DJ Pro, it defaults to 48 kHz, as is standard with that software. And the sound is great, very clean and precise with no obvious coloration. And latency can be set very low too, if your computer can handle it. There are two options for playing back real vinyl through the Flux, hardware and software pass-throughs. If you have a power supply connected, more on that in a moment, then you don't even need a computer to activate the hardware one. There are buttons on the top panel to enable it on channels 1 and 2. The software pass-through is enabled in the settings in Serato DJ Pro. I did a bunch of vinyl recordings using both types of pass-through internally in Serato and externally too. And my take is that, whilst owners of very high-end mixers with top-grade preamps might still prefer to use those, for most DJs running vinyl through the flux produces a very respectable sound indeed. I thought I could hear a little more noise when using the software pass-throughs though, so I'd stick to using the hardware ones where possible. Coming back to power, the Flux does some stuff with USB which honestly I didn't dare to dream of, but as they already did the excellent stand hub a while ago, I should really have seen the clues. The Flux can be USB bus powered, it doesn't need a power supply to work with your computer, but the USB-C input on the far left can power the Flux, and if you have a suitable USB-C power adapter for your laptop, up to 60 watts, then you can deliver both power and data to the computer with a single cable via the second USB-C port thanks to power delivery. That power delivery worked great with both my XMG Windows laptop and my 16-inch MacBook Pro, although the latter would only trickle charge as that requires 97 watts for full-speed charging. This is just an incredibly cool addition. 
One thing I'd kind of forgotten about when using a separate interface for DJ software is just how many cables can be involved. It's a lot. But with the Flux, you can have that rat's nest of cables all tucked away behind your gear and have just a single USB-C cable going to your laptop. A very clean look. If you don't have a laptop with USB-C or power delivery, there is a USB-A to C cable included with the Flux, so you don't need to buy any cables to get it working. But Reloop aren't finished with USB there. There's also a two-port USB hub with USB-A sockets for connecting other peripherals. Everything from external hard drives to MIDI controllers to CDJs in HID mode. I tried it with CDJ3000s and Denon SC6000Ms and Serato Control worked fully with both. In these times when many laptops like the 13-inch MacBook Pro seem to come with the bare minimum of ports, this could be a game changer for many DJs. I haven't even really mentioned the fact that the Flux is a three-channel device yet. It has three stereo inputs, all switchable between line and phono level with dip switches, and three matching outputs, all at line level. As you'd expect, this allows DVS control of three decks at once, but it also opens up other possibilities. For example, if you're using a three- or four-channel mixer, you can route the output of the sample player to a third channel. And when it comes to the input side of things, it's even more powerful. For starters, you can run a spare output from your mixer back in for recording, as you used to be able to do with the SL3. But where Reloop have been especially clever is in working with Serato to ensure that the third input is routed via the software to the new options in the software. So you can enable use laptop speakers and send audio to other applications using that input. That means you can use the Flux as the basis of a streaming setup, just as you would with a supported mixer. Excellent. Speaking of Serato, the integration overall is top notch and all works as it should. I had forgotten about the whole three channel interface thing though, having not used it for years. Should you want to utilize three decks with the Flux and see them all on screen at the same time, you will have to use stack view mode. In other views, you'll see two decks and you can switch over between one and three on the left. Stack is a very functional view which many DJs prefer anyway, but my only issue is that the third deck, being deck 3, follows Serato's usual layout logic and is therefore above decks 1 and 2. This doesn't make sense to me with the flux, it doesn't follow the layout of the connections on the box, and I usually prefer my third physical deck to be on the right hand side of my main two. It's nothing I couldn't get used to or work around, but I'd prefer an option to make it deck 4 instead, or to be able to use a 4 deck view with one greyed out. As I'd hoped, the Flux isn't just a Serato interface either. I was delighted to find out that it's Core Audio compliant, so no driver is needed on Mac, and there's a simple ASIO driver on Windows. This means that, at least on the Mac side of things, there really is no reason why Serato won't be able to support the Flux effectively forever. And it works seamlessly with every other piece of software I tried too, on both Windows and Mac. Rekordbox, Virtual DJ, Tractor, and Ableton Live could all address each of the three inputs and outputs, and with more quality options, too. Plus, Reloop didn't mention this to me, but as it's class compliant, I thought I would try the Flux with DJ Pro on an iPad Pro, and that worked perfectly too, with all three channels selectable and power delivery pass through. So, as long as it has the connections you need, the Flux will work as an audio interface for many different tasks, and so could be an incredibly useful tool for all kinds of users, not just those who want to use Serato DJ Pro. As far as I'm concerned, Reloop really have thought of everything with this one. So there you go, my thoughts on the Flux from Reloop. They have nailed this. They've absolutely nailed it. Right, I would have been happy enough with a simple two stereo channel interface for Serato DJ Pro. That would have done me. That would have put a smile on my face. But Reloop looked at that idea and they thought, no, that's not enough. Let's do more. And they did. And it's all fantastic. Three channels, definitely my preference. Given the option, I was an SL3 user back in the day. That extra pair of ins and outs just adds a whole lot more functionality. You've got core audio support, so it's gonna be supported on Macs basically forever. And for Windows, you're looking very long-term as well. You know, 10 to 11 wasn't a big change with drivers, so I'm sure 12 and 13 won't be either. So it's gonna last you a long time from a software point of view. And it works with everything I tried it with. All the software that I tried works great. And you've got the sound quality is there. The sound quality is really good. From the interface itself, the Phono preamps are decent in there as well. So that's fantastic. And the build quality, it's built like a tank. So physically, it's going to last you for years as well. I honestly don't know what they could have done to make this better. Some people will want a four-channel version. Some people would have preferred a cheaper two-channel version. But this, for me, absolutely, as I say, they've nailed it.
they've absolutely nailed this. I cannot recommend this enough. My only disappointment is this is the only one in the UK right now. It's going back tomorrow, so I will have to buy one. I mean, I said in my video about Serato boxes before that I would buy such a device if it appeared. Now it has. I'm going to buy one because I need one in my life. I'm stood in front of a Master Sounds rotary mixer right now that I am reviewing, and I'd love to be able to use that with Serato DJ Pro. That would be a very useful thing in my life. So I will be picking up a Flux 100%. This will be part of my DJ setup moving forward. I might not use it all the time because I have a lot of mixers with interfaces, etc. But as something, as part of my toolkit, this is absolutely essential. I'm so glad it exists and I'm so glad that Reloop have done such an awesome job with it. In the comments this week, let us know, are you looking for this? Is this making you as happy as it is me? If you're going to pick one up, what kind of setup are you going to use with it? I'm sure there are lots of weird and wonderful combinations in booths around the world. So yeah, sound off in the comments below. Thank you for watching this episode of Beat Source Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.